Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I want to talk a little bit about Taoism and how it can benefit your recovery. I think for a lot of us, uh, somewhere in early recovery, we explore a little bit, seeking a higher power. Maybe we touch on a little bit of Buddhism, or we explore a little bit of comparative religion. But for me, Taoism was a great starting point. It's not a religion, and in truth, it's not really even a philosophy. It's more of an ancient guide that espouses living in harmony with nature, with all people, and that essentially, in order to do that, we have to have harmony with self. And for those of us who uh, have a long history of fighting with ourselves and getting stuck on our own way, it's a pretty great starting point. Uh, one of the consummate texts of Taoism is the Tao Te Ching. It is a collection of 79 poems written over 2,500 years ago uh, by a man named Lao Tzu. And I happen to keep a copy of this in my office at all times. Many, many, many years ago, I was working in conjunction with a local rehab and providing some mental health services to people that were in very early recovery. So I met with a gentleman, brilliant young guy, uh, <clears throat> put together some sober time, but was just had a tendency to overcomplicate and overthink absolutely everything. So he came to me one day and said, I'm, I'm stuck inside my head, I can't get out, uh, and it's only 9 a.m., but it's been shitty so far, and it kind of feels like my whole day just has to suck. So I, gave, I just randomly threw him a copy of this book and said, look, do me a favor, just randomly pick a poem, read it, and tell me what it's about. So he did what I asked, and we talked a little bit about maybe what that ancient text was saying and how he could apply it to his life today. And when we got done, it was actually a fantastic conversation. And I said, okay, how do you feel? And he said, well, I feel good. And I'm like, right. What you did was you shifted your perspective. You got outside of your head in, in terms of the things that you're obsessing over and worrying about, and you just kind of shifted your awareness, and now you're free to restart your day. Since then, I have been recommending the book The Tao of Pooh for a lot of years. A very clever man named Benjamin Hoff was a student of Taoism, and he noticed a lot of similarities between the writings of Lao Tzu and the writings of A.A. A. Milnes, the man who wrote the original Winnie the Pooh series. And he goes on to explain the concepts of Taoism through the characters of Winnie the Pooh. And honestly, I think we can uh, see a lot of ourselves in the characters of Winnie the Pooh, especially in early recovery. I think a lot of us are tiggers. A lot of us are bouncing around, trying to do 10,000 things, and none of them are getting done especially well. Uh, a lot of us are piglets. We're just very, very anxious. Uh, we're very worried about what's coming around the corner and when that next shoe is going to drop. A lot of us are uh, like rabbit. We make a ton of plans and none of them actually work. Uh, some of us are owls. We're intellectuals and we have a tendency to overthink. So Taoism would say that Winnie the Pooh has the right idea. He's completely in the moment, has no plan, and is open to all possibilities. And when I think about, you know, what's the value of one day at a time? What's the value of being present in the here and now, being grounded? being open-minded, being receptive to what my higher power has in mind, all of those very simple concepts of Taoism, whether they're explained uh, by Winnie the Pooh or by uh, the Tao Te Ching, either way they work really well for me. I recommend these to folks uh, who are seeking something that works for them. I, I remind folks that a higher power doesn't have to be a deity, does, certainly doesn't have to be God. And I think what's important is that we just pick a starting point. I think a lot of us make the mistake of believing that we have to pick something once and for all. Uh, I think we're afraid of choosing wrong, and it just feels like way too much pressure. So I see a lot of benefit in just being present and grounded and taking it one day at a time, and I'm sure that you will too. And I also say that it's a lot easier to find your way as you go. More will be revealed. You'll have more experiences. You'll uh, find something that works for you along the way. But I think the trick is don't stress yourself out about it and uh, find something that works for you just for the time being, not once and for all. Uh, my hope is that you're taking excellent care of yourself. Certainly these are trying times, but I just think that's all the more reason to take really good care of you. 
And what I notice uh, during this time of pandemic and uncertainty is that the folks I know who are doing the best right now, almost 100% of them are in addiction recovery. I think we have this perspective that we've been through hell already, and so whatever we're going through today, sure, it's important, but I'm not going to let it make me miserable, I'm not going to let it steal joy from me, and I'm going to go on living. So, please, connect with me. I'd love to hear your questions or ideas for things that you'd like covered in future videos. Jim at SoberNow.com is how you get a hold of me. Uh, please give a like and a share to this video, and check out SoberNow's uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, Sober Now has well over 90 videos now on different topics relating to addiction recovery and trauma recovery. So check it out and uh, subscribe. You'll get uh, some content about once a week or so. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you next week.